why am I saving myself for marriage? It's a fair question. It's a really fair question. is because God asked me to. About five years ago, I believe it was February, he laid it upon my heart to give my virginity to my husband and I agreed. I promised him that I would. I guess the real question should be, why did you agree to save yourself from marriage? One, because, you know, at the time I was just getting serious about my walk with Jesus. And I was really down on myself, condemning myself pretty much for everything that I had done prior. Since I knew that that was something that he requires, that saving yourself for marriage, that giving your virginity to your husband or giving your virginity to your wife is something that, that he requires and desires of us all, then I was like, okay, especially since he asked me, you know, since he like, politely suggested that this is what you should do, this is what you need to consider, then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm a, like, I know I've screwed up so many times before, but I'm gonna make you proud of me, so I'm gonna do this. So in my head back then, I one of the reasons I agreed was to, so that he could have something to be proud of me for, because I, I didn't, in my head, I didn't think he had many reasons to be proud of me. So if he was gonna be proud of me for something, he was gonna be proud of me for this. And I saved myself from marriage. But I get the feeling that, that he is proud of me. And not just because I agreed to do this, to walk this walk and to live this lifestyle. Reason number two is because it's what he requires. Like in 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 3 through 5, it is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you avoid sexual immorality, that each of you learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the pagans who don't know God. I mean, pretty much self-explanatory <laughs> and I have Ephesians 5 and 31 written down in here <laughs> for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be you and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh through consummation on the wedding night husband and wife become one flesh then for the man to love his wife is to love one who has become a part of himself that is so sweet to me i don't know why i mean it's also facts you know the act of sex was created by god to to really connect the man and the woman together and also to produce life like they become one flesh and like one one spirit but they also become one flesh and by the both of them coming together they bear a human like one flesh soul ties are real people soul ties are real if my soul is going to be tied to anybody it's gonna be to the man that God has designed for me to do life with as husband and wife. Because mm -hmm. I ain't got time for all that. I refuse. I refuse. 